There are signs the Biden administration may be backing down from a standoff between the state of Texas and the feds at the southern border. Texas officials say they will not comply with a deadline tonight to allow Border Patrol access to Shelby Park in Eagle Pass. And Border Patrol agents say for now there are no plans to remove razor wire, even though a court ruling allows agents to do so. Meanwhile, more Republican states say they will send National Guard resources to the border. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen live with more. Yeah, Heather and Steve, a senior Border Patrol official said that there's no plans for now to take down any of that razor wire unless there is some sort of emergency they need to get to. It is as more red states vow to support the position that Texas is taking. Along the border in Eagle Pass, it appears Texas is in charge, and some want it to stay that way. Mr. President, you say you want to secure the border. Texas has secured it. Leave it alone. We don't need you down here. A Friday deadline that the federal government set for the state to let federal agents access a park in Eagle Pass will apparently pass with no changes. The state took control of the high crossing area earlier this month, even though the feds said they needed it to do their job. A court ruling Monday also paved the way for the feds to take down razor wire, but Texas has since added more. It prompted some calls for the federal government to take over the Texas Guard. And I would remind everyone that uh, the circumstances under which the federal uh, government can mobilize a state's national guard are outlined in the law, right? So that, that I'll leave that there, uh, but I'm just not going to uh, get into speculations on any actions the president's going to take at this time. Governor Greg Abbott said in an interview Friday that Texas is prepared for any conflict between state and federal authorities. All we can do is be as prepared as possible, deploy as many people as possible, uh, do as much as possible uh, to put up more border barriers uh, and deny illegal entry. Uh, and our head is down. We're working hard, uh, regardless of what the Biden administration is doing. The tensions led the Border Patrol Union to issue a statement Friday, saying in part, rank-and-file Border Patrol agents are not going to start arresting Texas National Guard members for following their lawful orders. That's fake news. Meanwhile, more Republicans appear to be souring on a congressional border security deal. Speaker Mike Johnson told colleagues Friday leaked details about the plan lead him to believe the plan would be dead on arrival in the House. It comes after former President Donald Trump said a border deal now would be a gift to Democrats. Immigration is a top issue for voters, but some Republicans still want to see action sooner. I think they should try to get something done. That's my personal opinion. But regardless of whether they do or not, there's actions that the president can take right now to help the governor instead of working against him. Other states sending their National Guard to help at the border is nothing new, but more Republican governors this week are vowing to send additional support and resources to help with Texas's position. Stephen Heather.